I am an unemployed college dropout. I've never had a real job and I have no money. I barely know how to code, which is why I've failed every job interview I've ever had. Uh, did you finish uh, school? No, I, I left to just join the workforce. The closest I got was at Netflix until I brought up the cuties controversy. What did you think about Netflix standing by cuties? So to be honest, I, I really would rather, um, I probably would rather not touch on those um, just because I don't, uh, um, you know, it, yeah, it, I, I, I think, do you, do you have any other questions about like the, uh, what it's like to work for us or the culture or... I even tried making a Halo clone to convince the company that made it 343 into hiring me. It didn't work. But that all changes now because I'm going to find a way to get my dream job. Google. I wanted to work at the closest office near me, the Mountain View, California Google Complex, the Guplex. Let's check out a review. The great Google overlords thinking you're oh so smart. Come on, programmers. You don't really have a clue. In 10 years, y'all be sleeping under the bridge. Obsolete by your own weed-induced creations. And I'll be having the last laugh. Call me in 10 years. I'll be right. Okay, Google, remind me to call Noah Fulber in 10 years. Oh, look at this. Guplex has a phone number. I should try calling. Oh, oh, oh. Wrong number. Hi. Welcome to the Googleplex in Mountain View, California. Thank you for calling Google. My name is Carter. How can I help you today? Hello, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Uh, hello, can you, hello? Yes, I can. Hello. Hi, uh, I was just wondering if, uh, is this a Googleplex? Uh, Googleplex? Uh, this is Google calling. Are you trying to get into contact with someone from Google, from Gplex? Yes, uh, please. Okay. Um, what is the reason that you need, um, uh, well, I, I have like a bunch of contact. I, I I have a bunch of questions actually. I have like a few questions to ask. She told me that no one at the Gooplex was available and that I'd had to ask my question to her. So I took a deep breath and I asked her for a job. Yeah, I was just uh, wondering about uh, getting hired at, Google, at the Gooplex. Okay. Um, are you looking into catering or? No, no, no as a um, programmer programming yeah for for googleplex yes please okay she put me on hold thank you so much for holding are you still here yeah hello are you there yes okay okay she told me that as far as she knew there were no available jobs at the googleplex so as a last resort i told her how much this job meant to me and then the unexpected happened okay i'm just a i'm a huge fan of google i'm I really want to, it's my dream job. I, I look stuff up every day. You kind of sound like a streamer. I'm not, sorry, that was unrelated. Um, Wait, what, what streamer? What streamer? Tell me. Um, do you know Dakotas? Type in Dakotas in the item shop before you buy skins. You kind of sounded like him at first. The Fortnite? Yeah. They say I also sound like fearless. Why is this game so hard, bro? I, I don't know who that is. You're just making fun of me, bro. You definitely sound like Dakotas. Bye, skins. Um, um, uh, do you have any advice for me to help get a job at Google? I would say your best bet would be trying to make connections with... Um, well, I mean, yeah. since you already have a job at Google, can we build a connection and, you know, can we play Fortnite together and then maybe you could get me hired? I can't. No, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not allowed to uh, take personal information over the phone. But... Um, I do hope you get the job. Thank you. Um, is there anything else that I can help you with today? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thank you for calling Google. Bye. -bye. Damn. Another one got away. That's when I found out the bad news. A Google job is statistically the hardest job in the world to get. It's statistically easier to get accepted into Harvard than it is to work for Google. We actually get um, 2.5 million job applications globally in a single year. Those were all my applications. I give up. I mean, what am I thinking? You think Google wants you? You can't even get hired by 343. Obviously, Google's not gonna want your college dropout, no work history, dumbass. So I overate and laid in bed all week. I guess Noah Fulber was right. Not everyone's meant to chase their dreams. <sighs> 
until I came up with a plan. Google will hire me. I just gotta do something so insane, so incredible, something so impressive that will make Google beg me to work for them. You hear me? You will beg me. And it just so happens I've come up with the perfect thing to do. I, low level Emmy, will make a to-do list app. I'll put it on my web portfolio and then I'll have a Wi-Fi integration. Psych! Who am I, a computer science student? I'm gonna be the first person in history to have watched every single YouTube video ever uploaded, which to this day is considered impossible. And don't think I don't know, you yourself have uploaded a few YouTube videos. I'm watching them too. He's a pug and he's retarded. And I don't care how much it will make you cringe. I'm watching them. I showed my brother's girlfriend's like private part by accident. You see, every minute, do you know how many hours of footage is uploaded to YouTube? 500 hours, eight hours a second. For every day it takes me to watch every YouTube video, I fall behind 82 years. That's how old my grandpa thinks he is. How old are you? I'm 82. 82. So you might think watching every YouTube video is impossible if you aren't a genius programmer, but Noah Fulber, I just so happen to be one. Let's kick off our journey by watching every video made by my favorite YouTuber ever. The number one, bro Feaster, scary face. PewDiePie, PewDiePie. <laughs> Taking away, but I don't know what, what the- <laughs> Now we could just watch all of PewDiePie's videos on YouTube, but we'd also have ads. So instead, we'll download all his videos, then combine them into one super large video and watch that. Step one, download all his videos. We're downloading his videos at the worst quality possible, but even then, this still might take a few hours. Step two, Combine all his videos into one huge video for easy watching. Here's every PewDiePie video ever. So let's just uh, drag them in. And uh, pr Premiere is frozen. Close. Okay. Oh my god, I just pasted the- Oh, I just act- Step three, watch. Wow, it's 83 gigs in size. Now, before we watch this, I have to let you know that I accidentally compressed all the videos when trying to combine them. So this might not be Blu-ray quality, but it should still be watchable. So without further ado. <laughs> How's it going, bro? My name is PewDiePie. Welcome back. 1,068 hours long? That's 44 days. I can't spend 44 days watching this. I need to come up with a faster way to watch all of PewDiePie's videos, or else I'll never get my dream job at Google. So we're gonna improvise. When someone says they watched a video, it doesn't necessarily mean they watched the entire video. Just like when someone says they played Minecraft, it doesn't mean they beat Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft all my life and I still have never beat the Ender Dragon in survival. But if someone asked me if I played Minecraft, I would say, yeah, of course. Please leave my house. So for that reason, I'm only going to watch the first second of every video on YouTube. If you think that's cheating, then I invite you to take a look at the dictionary definition of watch. Look at or observe attentively over a period of time. They don't specify how long a period of time. A period of time could be one second, hypothetically. So I downloaded all the PewDiePie videos again, but this time only the first second of each one. I combined them all into one video wow. and wow, it's only one hour and 14 minutes long. I could definitely watch that. 
How's it going? How's it going, bros? My house. <laughs> Old people. And just like that, we've seen every PewDiePie video ever uploaded. But still, it kind of sucks that it's over an hour long. I won't be able to watch every YouTube channel at that rate. So how can I cut the time down? Simple. By playing multiple videos at the same time. I came up with a Python script to do this for me. It's only 18 minutes long. Oh. <laughs> hey, how's it going, <laughs> how's it going Hey! Alright, intro. This game literally just came out. <laughs> but can we go even farther? Yes. You are now watching 36 PewDiePie videos a second. Just listen to that. And it's only two minutes long. But there's a problem I haven't mentioned yet. It's pronounced FFmpeg. FFmpeg is the reason watching YouTube videos is possible. Ow, surely! Ow! Was that the bite of 87? FFmpeg is older than me and probably you. It's used by YouTube, VLC, pretty much any software that deals with video probably uses FFmpeg. It's pretty much a video editor on the command line. And because it's on the command line, that means you could automate video editing. When I discovered this over a year ago, I came up with an idea that could make millions. I made a YouTube channel and TikTok account called Family Friendly Ferret, FFF for short. Kind of like Low Level Lemmy, LLL for short. I'm not that creative. With Family Friendly Ferret, I would do the most morally reprehensible thing I've ever done in my life so far. I thought I found an infinite money glitch. The plan was simple. You know those live stream clips that are posted on YouTube and TikTok all the time? Send me your dick pics. Okay? They get millions of views, profiting off of streamers by re-uploading their content in a digestible and clickable way. So I thought to myself, what if I made a robot to do this with the help of my new friend FFmpeg? So I created a blank Python script and I named it Moneybot. Cause this was about to make me a whole lot of money. How? Simple. Any Twitch viewer could clip a funny section of a live stream they're watching. I'm out of ammo! Oh! Behind! Res, 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 Here's the code that does that. Then the money bot downloads them, edits them into a vertical format using FFmpeg with a bunch of stuff I copied off the internet. I have no idea what this stuff means now. Then uploads them to TikTok and YouTube Shorts. I made the money bot title the post using the title of the original clip. On YouTube, I just added the word hashtag shorts. For TikTok, I made every word in the title a hashtag. Pretty genius SEO, I know. All with this one Python script. When looking back at the code, it's actually surprisingly good. You could tell that I really cared about it. You could clearly understand what I was trying to do and almost every line is commented. Man, I wish I was still like that. Now this is what my code looks like. I can't believe a year ago, I was a better programmer than I am now. Google should not hire me. Oh, and do you see this huge block of text? that looks like code that you'd see in like a movie or something. Yeah, uh, that's about to... Uh, th Foreshadowing. I scheduled the money bot to run once an hour every day. Since the clips that I used had the most views for that day, my endeavor must have been successful. I must have had a bunch of views just like the Twitch clips that I was stealing. So how'd it go? Horrible. At the end of my escapade, I had amassed 17 YouTube subscribers and 500 TikTok followers. I had a total of 13,000 views on YouTube. I uploaded 730 videos. On TikTok, I had over 50k likes, averaging about 100 views per video. My first upload was on December 21st of 2020, and this lasted about 62 days. Rest in peace, po Grandma. Rest in peace, money bot. 62 days of life you had, and zero dollars you made. But by God, it was the best code I've ever written in my entire life. But now, I hope you realize the power of FFmpeg, and that even the most noble of men could be corrupted at the thought of passive income. On this day, I broke bad and never was the same again. What was this video about again? Oh yeah, 
We figured out how to watch every YouTube video ever using our PewDiePie strategy, but there's a bigger obstacle we have in our path, downloading every YouTube video. Is this even possible? See these characters in the video URL? It's the video's ID. It's actually just a number, but in base 64. This means that instead of using 0 through 9 as numbers, you use 0 through 9 and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, D, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. There's over 74 quintillion unique video IDs that could be generated. Since this is just a number, I could have my computer count through every possible video ID and download each video. It's kind of like how Stewie Griffin tried calling his mom that one time. One 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 one. Lewis? Damn. One 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 two. Lewis? Damn! This is called brute forcing. Sounds perfect, right? There's just one problem. 74 quintillion is such a big number that my PC can't even count to it. Run this in any programming language and see if you'll ever reach the end. You won't. Remember how I downloaded all of the PewDiePie videos? I just pasted his link and YouTube DLP just downloaded all his videos for me. So instead of trying to find every single YouTube video, I just need to find every single YouTube channel. If I had a list of all the channels on YouTube, I could iterate through them and download all the videos ever made. Just one problem, the channel IDs are even more complex than the video IDs. So brute forcing them is definitely impossible. There has got to be another way to get a list of every single YouTube channel. If we type the letter A on YouTube search and filter by channel, a bunch of channels that start with the letter A come up. If we search the letter B, a lot of B channels come up. See where I'm going with this? You're probably thinking, perfect! Just write a bot to search through the alphabet, adding each channel to a list. Then you'll have a list of every single YouTube channel to download from. Sounds great, huh? But unfortunately, this won't work. I think it would take too long, and I don't want YouTube to ban my IP address. <sighs> If only a bunch of people had already done this for me, for free. I introduce you to YouTube Wiki. Wikitubia has a list of every single YouTube channel as long as they're over a thousand subs. Now I know I promise you I'd watch your cringy YouTube videos. I'll find out a way to get to the channels with less than 1k subs later. I wrote a bot to scrape all the YouTube channel links off Wikitubia. Now all that's left to do is download every single YouTube video ever made. So I wrote another Python script to do this. Now, all we have to do is wait. Wait over six months for your computer to break. Learn from my mistakes and never try getting your Xbox Kinect to work on your PC as a webcam. It will ruin your computer. I factory reset. I downloaded the rest of the videos, so let's take a look at them. So in every folder here is a YouTube channel with all their videos inside of it, but of course only the first second of all their videos. I'm going to scroll through these and tell me if you recognize anyone. So right right now I recognize Vertasium. In 2014. Vertasium. Ego Raptor. Ed's World. Oh my gosh, if you remember Ed's World. Hello, I'm IBM. I Justine. Hey guys, it's Justine. Hey guys, it's Justine. Hey guys, guess what? iDubs TV. Welcome back. Hey. Jack Septicai. Welcome back. Welcome. All right, it's beautiful. Jason Derulo. Kanye West. He's done. Me Lego. Mario Power. Mario. 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 Look at all these Mario's. Talking Angela Cat. We got all the Talking Friends franchises. We got Talking Angela. Talking Friends. Talking Tom Cat. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Tayson Day. The Fine Bros. Oh Lord. Nick, 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 Nick. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then we have a bunch of channels that are just the YouTube ID instead of the actual username. So this is like a mystery box. Let's see. I'm going to spend it. This is. I am going to travel. To we just woke. If you are a boy. This if you are a boy, what? If you are a boy. Oh, I wish I knew what he was going to say after that. Oh, we got Watch Mojo too. Oh, Lord. How many videos? 14,000 videos they've made. <laughs> All right, we got a little sidetracked, but the point is, it's all here. We even got Xbox. I combined every single YouTube video I downloaded into one video. It's 521 hours long. Hey guys, it's Tay. 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 Then I applied the PewDiePie method by playing 36 videos at a time. This is it, guys. 
All we have to do now is watch this one video and we'll have seen every YouTube video ever made as long as the channel is over a thousand subs. It's 14 hours long. You ready? Cause I sure as hell am. All right, I can't do this. It's just too boring. I'm not Mr. Beast. I, I can't sit and just do nothing. I'm gonna have to get the time down even farther. Remember when I showed you this? Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. This code allows us to do something incredible. Do I understand it? No. I copied it from the internet. Are you ready for a modern day miracle? Instead of 36, 144 videos playing at once. <laughs> Only 3.5 hours. Now that's doable. Everything has been leading up to this moment. After I watch this entire thing, my life will change forever. I'll show this to Google and I'll get my dream job. I'm coming for you, Google. Let's go! I played the new Spider-Man Remastered on the PC while watching every YouTube video, so it would be less boring. Hank, Hank Green. Hank Green in the middle bottom, I notice him. On the top right one, top right one down is a guy that goes to a Walmart. Oh, I see a Kai in the very top left one down, a Kai. He played a... Guitar Hero. I see React Time in the middle, one right from the middle, down. Oh, web, Wavy Web Surf on the bottom middle left. Oh, Den and Phil on the top middle, one right. Granny's House on the top right. Oh, Jack's Films, bottom, bottom right. Oh, Critical on the bottom left, I just saw him. As we were approaching the end, the levels of hype were off the charts. One of the biggest highs of my life so far. It even took my grandma's breath away. What? Go upstairs to my room and get me the, the day quill. I'm having a real hard time with my reading. Okay, coming. Now that I've finally done the impossible, it's time to get my dream job. I started messaging a bunch of Google engineers on LinkedIn. After weeks of doing this, only one man agreed to talk to me. Hello. Oh. Hello. How are you doing? Doing well. How are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to uh, talk to you today. Uh, my dream is to work for Google. Okay. And... Uh, I thought of maybe ways I could accomplish that. So I started working on this project that I thought was, was impossible and many people thought was impossible. And mm -hmm. uh, I think I actually did it. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to screen share my monitor and demonstrate my project to you and get your thoughts and maybe possibly discuss employment. Uh, I see, uh, well. But let's let's look at it. So my project is to watch every YouTube video ever uploaded. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'll, I won't explain it. I'll just show you the final result. So you you basically like uh, put a small screens of videos and they just like bleep go on exactly another. so i got every single youtube channel url and i downloaded all the videos that were public on each channel and i put that i clip i cropped the first second of each one and then i made what's called a mosaic when you put 144 
videos on the screen at once. So uh, can you think of any YouTubers and I could search them up right now in the directory and I could show you that I have all their videos downloaded? Oh no, I believe you. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, okay. And you, you, you did it all like to, to, to attract attention. Now, for the moment eight months of work has been leading up to, the chance to work for Google. My heart was beating inside my chest faster than it ever has before. Will I get hired by my dream company? Uh, but Google, it has like a process for hiring. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know about your experience. Uh, my experience is pretty horrible. Okay. Don't, don't, don't say, don't say horrible <laughs> to anyone else during the interview. Or say, say, say the opposite that you're great. Uh, yeah, I thought maybe if I did this project and maybe kind of overshadow uh, my uh, areas that I lack in and like maybe I'd get hired on the spot because maybe they would be so no, impressed. It, it, it just doesn't work like that. I mean, at this stage, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even apply. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, uh, All right, then. Um, eight months down the drain. I'm not getting my dream job. I was on the verge of tears, but I held my composure. Yeah, I looked it up and it said it was uh, easier to get into Harvard than it was All to right. get into Google. I don't know, maybe, maybe not, <laughs> not sure about that. He told me I shouldn't apply until I had at least two years experience. Thank you so cool. much for uh, have, giving me time to uh, talk to you and stuff. It's been awesome. Sure, and, no problem. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in two years. Yeah, I'll see. I will <laughs> root for you. <laughs> will you remember me? Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> I thought the call went pretty well, and he probably thought I was cool too because he slumped into his chair over the duration of the call. But him thinking I was cool wasn't enough to get me the job. I feel worse than I ever have in my life. I didn't know what to do. Then it hit me. There's still a way. Hi, this is Dakotas, the famous Fortnite live streamer. Are you, um, yeah, so, uh, are you... Yeah, I'm the guy, I'm the same guy that called you a few months ago about getting the job at Google. Um... Please add me on Fortnite. Um, but... Can't give personal information over the phone. Right. But there's nothing stopping me from giving you personal information over the phone. Right? Um, um, I don't think it's... Um, exactly. So when you get off work, add me on Epic Games. My username is Low Level Lemmy. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, and uh, also use the creator code LLL. Uh, I somehow got that. Uh, goodbye. Nah, I'm just kidding. The footage you just saw was from YouTube. I also realized that it wasn't actually every YouTube video. It was just 5,000 channels worth. I didn't scrape all of YouTube wiki like I thought I did because I didn't see this next button. But even if I did scrape all of YouTube wiki, it still wouldn't be every YouTube video. But, but I learned something today. It's not about making one amazing project. It's about making multiple great projects to refine your skill and show your capability. I mean, really. Would you want to hire a one-hit wonder? Or would you want to hire a band that consistently makes great songs and has refined its craft? 
In life, we tend to want to overdo certain things to make up for lost time, but that's all ego. Work on simple projects, like a to-do list app. You'll learn a lot, and then you can move on to bigger things, and you'll have a ton of work to show Google. <sighs> but I'm still unemployed. Well, the video's finally done. <gasps> a letter? A letter from Google? Wow, this this whole time I've had a job at Google. It's it's 